Are you a woman in business? Are you looking to join the growing ranks of female entrepreneurs taking over the world? You've come to the right place. On Babes in Business, we'll be covering all things business from the female perspective and giving you the tools to empower you on your journey. So now, let's get ready to be empowered on Babes in Business. Oh, God. You watched that one. Yeah, that. Hello. Good evening. Happy New Year and welcome back to Babes in Business. It's Babes in Business 2017. I can't believe we're in a new year. I mean, I can, but let's just say goodbye to 2016. All good things for the new year. And we're starting off with a bang. I'm very excited about tonight's guest. Of course, I have to shout out Wendy Bloom, who was with us for our last show of the year. Wendy, thank you. I'm so excited for your events happening Next weekend, the Create Your Best Life event. It's going to be phenomenal. Three days of really empowering stuff for women in the South Florida area. Um, But that is now in the past. We're in a new year. We've got new things. We're looking ahead. And we have with us tonight a woman who is so amazing. She has not only opened her own successful podiatry office, she's opened a second. This is Dr. Amy Dunitz, and I'm so happy you're here. Thank you, Michelle. Thanks. Glad to be here. Oh, God. I mean, I feel like we started talking about this back in August, and now you email me last week, and you're like, hello, I'm on the air next week. I'm like, oh, my God, how does time go so fast? It goes really fast. It goes really fast. Well, we're so happy you're here, um, and we've caught up a little bit, but why don't you give us a little information about your business? Uh, I've been in practice in Aventura for the past 25 years, and I love my practice there, but um, I live out west in Pembroke Pines. So I decided to open another practice out in that area. So we have some commonalities. I'm a Pembroke Pines girl myself working out in Aventura and I I can understand why you took the leap to open that second office. So give me the rundown. What do you specialize in? What are people coming to you for? Well, I see patients from tomorrow. As a matter of fact, we have a four month old coming in. Oh, wow. And our oldest patient has been 103. That's amazing. So we do geriatric podiatry. We see a lot of teenagers. Uh, We treat everything in the practice. That's incredible. I mean, I guess, you know, without you, it's like you're you're getting you're keeping people on their feet. Right. So it's it's incredibly important that people pay attention to their to the health of their feet and what's going on there, because I know having my own issues in the past, I had broken my foot and needed a complete like they put it back together with metal, basically, you really, I mean, being without the use of it was awful for me. So I'm sure you make people feel better all the time. Definitely. And sometimes you don't even realize the impact you have on somebody until you see a review somewhere on Yelp or you you see like five referrals from one patient that you helped because a lot of times they don't say anything. But then the reward comes back to you a hundredfold. Well, having had my car accident, I know that nothing humbles you more than not being able to get around. Mm -hmm. I I wasn't able to walk for months. And for me, it was like, oh, my goodness, you really appreciate even, you know, to be able to hold a coffee cup. I couldn't hold that because of what I did to my wrist and my hand. So I can imagine, you know, even if what you think is doing is so small and simple, it can really change a person's whole perspective on how they're living. Definitely. So, it's, okay, so you're in business how many years? 25. 25 years in Aventura. Yes. And now how many years in Pembroke Pines? One year. One year in Pines. Oh, congratulations. Thank so that's you. fairly recent. Mm-hmm. So were you, was it like a long process to decide whether or not the second office was coming? How does, tell me what that looks like. Well, my oldest child was getting ready to go off to college and I decided I need to do something else to fill up my time because I used to be a uh, dance mom. So I said, why don't I open another practice near my house? Because my work to me is not work. It's something that I love to do. And it's sort of like my hobby as well. Right. That's so, amazing. Yeah, and I'm really glad that I did it. See, I love that because there, you know, there are people who either they have their kids and their kids start elementary school and are you know just relishing in the free time or there are the people who are like, I need to fill my time with something I love and this is my time. And I love from the empowerment perspective that you took this over as your time to do more of what you love. I think that's amazing. Has it fulfilled you in every way possible? Yes, it's especially nice that I drive 10 minutes to go to work. That's How do you split your time? Um, I'm in Aventura office on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'm in Davie on Monday and Thursday all day. Wow, so you're a busy lady. Yes. Love it. Okay, so for those of us out there who are hoping to meet you one day in the office, how can we find you? 
Um, you can call me in my Aventura office at 305-933-2666 and at my Davy office at 954-623-8088. Do you have a website? Yes. My website is dramydunitz.com. Sorry, I mispronounced your name. Does that happen? Yes, all the time. Okay, all right, so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> I mean, I've been calling you Amy. I should call you Dr. <laughs> it's Amy. It's okay. Um, so how was your holidays? What did you do? Well, you were with your kids, I'm assuming. By the way, Amy's daughter, I'm going to shout you out right now because you have the same birthday as me. We're birthday twins, and that means I already love you. Thank you for sharing that piece of information. What's oh, your daughter's you're welcome. name? Jacqueline? Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Great to meet you, Jacqueline. We went down to the Keys. We went to Marathon and Key West for Very a few nice. days during the holiday. So that was nice. Well, everyone who knows me knows that the Keys are my, it's like my thing. Like really? if, I could, if you could give me any place in the world to travel to, if you said, Michelle, you've won a free trip. I've been all over the world. I've been to the south of France. Uh -huh. I've been all over Italy. I love the Keys. I would pick it over anything else. Oh, okay. I'll join you next time. It's like <laughs> relaxation. It's, um, you know, a little bit more laid back than your average vacation. I don't know. All of it combined is just the best. That drive down there is so relaxing. It's relaxing. It's very therapeutic. We just disappeared off the face of the earth for four days. Okay. So now from my perspective, I took two days off this entire year. I don't ever like, I mean, you're an entrepreneur, you know, I'm my business depends on me. So if Same. I'm not running it, mm -hmm. what in the world is going to happen? So I took two days off, um, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and t catching up just from two days, just on emails alone, never mind the client work that I had, I'm like drowning. Like, do you feel, do you feel that sense of anxiety? Because I don't know if it's a normal entrepreneur thing, if it's a woman thing, I, I don't know. I think because I'm a few years older than you, I've gotten used to it by now and I know how to deal with it. And I know this too shall pass when I'm getting stressed about too much work or, you know. Yeah, I mean, it is really important that we unplug. I talk about it all the time. You know, I've written about it for multiple publications. I don't always practice what I preach, though. The importance of, you know, when you're a woman, you are, whether you're in business or not, you're you're wearing so many hats. There's so much asked of you, There's so, and especially if you're a mom, right? Mm -hmm. So. You have to be sensitive in there for your children and then help your husband and then you have your business. It's like taking the time to unplug is probably the best thing you can do for yourself. And I, I, I guess because I'm newer, I'm still trying to find that balance. Right. You know, and it's funny. One of my friends said to me one day, going to the doctor for teeth cleaning is not self-care. Like that is not taking care of yourself. It's indulging in what you love to indulge in. And I'm like, oh, gosh, I, what time do I have for that? So tell me, when am I going to learn the balance? I guess once your kids start getting, like in the later years of high school and in college, you'll start getting the balance going. <laughs> I have some time. 16 years from now, I'm going to go get a massage, you guys. That's great. And then there's sort of like a lull. Because I used to be in Target when the kids were little. The phone would always ring. Where are you? When are you coming home? And now I'll go in Target or a store and it's just quiet. It's quite, And you have more and more time for yourself. That's great. Well, you look like you're really enjoying everything that you're doing. But Thank I you. always ask, you know, when I, whenever I meet a new doctor, and I've seen doctors of all kinds, what was it that led you into the field that you're in? Uh, well, I wanted to be a doctor since I was four years old. I always liked helping people when they didn't feel well. But when I was in college, I went to see a guidance counselor, and I told them about the kind of lifestyle I wanted to have, and they recommended being a podiatrist. Why is that? What kind of lifestyle? I'm just curious. Like, is, I wanted something not so heart-wrenchingly serious. And not and so demanding of Not so time. demanding of the time. I can get married and have a family, work normal hours. You don't have to take emergencies if you don't want to. So it worked out great. You're a woman with strategy. And I talk about it on every show. I love strategy. So I posted something on social media today about a quote that Sheryl Sandberg had, had put somewhere. And it was about... Having a plan is meaningless because that only takes you from point A to point B today. But having a strategy means so much more because it means you're you're well thought out. You're picking something. You're working on something the right way for you. And I think as women, it's really important. You know, we don't know what's going to happen in our lives. You went into podiatry before you probably got married and had kids. Mm -hmm. But you knew inherently what you needed. And how amazing is that that it, it best serves you in your lifestyle? I love a woman with strategy. So that's great. Thank you. Have you ever, you know, thought to yourself, well, if I became a dentist or I became a oral surgeon, whatever, have you ever thought that maybe it would have served you better? Or you're totally... It's funny that you say that because I worked for dentists for many years when I was in high school and college, part-time, 
And they thought, why don't you go to dental school? And I'm so glad I didn't do that because I'm way too outgoing. And I like the banter with my patients. And I wouldn't have that if I was a dentist. Got it. Because it would be a one-sided conversation. Totally. You know, I, actually, it's so it's funny you say that because I was at the dentist recently. And I, I said to my husband, I'm like, why do they insist on talking to you when you can't answer? Like, exactly. I'm, I'm like doing thumbs up. No offense to all the dentists out there. I love you guys. And I, I'm actually not someone who hates going to the dentist. I enjoy it. It's kind of. Really? <laughs> You're going to think this is crazy, but it's an hour that I can't look at my phone. It's an hour that I'm not hearing mommy, 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 right. mommy, mommy. It's an hour that like, I guess it is my self-care. It is my unplugging. Anyway, I know I'm weird, um, I, but I am Michelle Dempsey, your host of Michelle Dempsey, Very Well Written. This year for me is going to be all about continuing to help uh, small businesses build their marketing strategies, get the word out there in a really, really interesting way. I think I've become known for my branding techniques and I'd be happy to help you with your business today. We have Dr. Amy Dunnitz here from her beautiful two locations. She's a podiatrist helping people all over South Florida. We're going to break. We'll be back after the break and we hope to see you there. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Babes in Business. And let me tell you, if you're looking for a lawyer, I've got the guy for you. The show is brought to you by the Dempsey Law Firm PA, a civil litigation boutique specializing in personal injury and wills, trust, and estate planning. The firm founder and attorney, Elliot Dempsey, serves clients across South Florida for issues ranging from auto accidents and slip and falls to your basic will or trust to protect your loved ones. We've all got loved ones, so he's the right guy to call for it. The Dempsey Law Firm can be found online at www.thedempseylaw.com or call them by phone at 954-667-8120. Tell them Michelle sent you. And don't forget, change is the law of life. Thank you for listening to Babes in Business. I am your number one babe in business, your host, Michelle Dempsey of Very Well Written, the business I founded to help other entrepreneurs get their businesses off the ground with great content, strategy, branding, social media, editing, and anything in the way of words. I've got you covered, www.michelledempsey.com, or you can call me at 305-469-7500. Don't forget to tune in every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock to join me and a fellow babe in business talk all things business. Can't wait to see you there. Are you feeling empowered to be a babe in business? Just when you thought you had all the secrets, I'm getting ready to share some more. We'll see you there on Babes in Business. I've become a better doctor since I became a mother. That's I, because I that's how it works. Hi guys, welcome back to Babes in Business. I'm here with Dr. Amy Dunnitz, and we are talking all about actually one of my favorite topics: um, being a successful businesswoman and also being a mom. A lot of people have this misconception that you know if you're a career woman and you're out there in the workforce and you're putting in the the entrepreneurial hours, which is way more than forty hours per week to run your business that your family life must not be that great. But I, I always like to tell people they're wrong. I like to say, you know what? I have more fun with my daughter now. I think I'm a better mom. I've got more energy because I'm so fulfilled by my work life that everything just feels, you know, n- definitely not balanced. I'm not gonna lie to you about that. But I just feel so successful on both ends. And I know for you, it's the same thing. The first thing you started talking to me about, Amy, was your children and your daughter. and um, I know your daughter goes to UCF and, and your son's in Cooper City. So I learned more about your children than I did about your business. And it's just amazing to me. You're such a successful woman. You have two offices where you're helping people and yet your kids still come first. I think that blows the misconceptions out of the water. Oh, definitely. So tell me a little bit about, you know, obviously 25 years ago, you didn't have children. How did the whole balance kind of come to be for you? Um, well, let's see. I got married in 94. Jacqueline was born in 96. Everything started happening around the same time because I got my practice in 95 um, in Aventura. Um, I worked for somebody first, and then my grandmother's like, it would be a good idea if you would have your own practice because I was working in two different practices for another uh, podiatrist. So she loaned me the money to buy the practice wow. in Aventura, which was a part-time practice at that time. And I just grew it and I keep growing it over the years. And you didn't find after you had your daughter, your daughter came first, um, that it slowed you down or it was hard to maybe make it work as easy, easily as you were before? 
No, not at all. As a matter of fact, I don't ever remember complaining about that because it was such a delight. And right. it was hard for me because I really didn't have family down here. Oh, wow. Because you know, my family's in New York and my husband's family's in another country. So, but I never complained. It was delightful raising the kids. And um, I think it made me a better doctor having the kids. I Because it changed me into my best. Absolutely. I know that. And I say that a lot too, that I... You know, even though I might have had more time and more flexibility before my daughter, I don't think I would have been as good or as dedicated because, you know, you're now doing it for the greater, like your business, the minute you had your daughter was not for you. Mm -hmm. It was to grow it into something successful to be able to take care of your family. Mm -hmm. And I think that that gives as I mean, for me, it's been very hard with the balance because she's a toddler and I started my business mm -hmm. from my house, but it gives me so much more motivation on a daily basis. And it's great to share that because... It's very rare these days that I meet a woman who talks first about their children. It's usually all business. So I love that. Thank you. You seem to have the perfect balance. So tell Thank me what's you. going on with the kids. I know that one has now flown the coop. Right. Yeah. Tell she's me. She's uh, second year at UCF and my son's graduating from Cooper this year. And you mentioned your daughter also wants to be a doctor. She wants to be a doctor, MD. And um, we'll see. We'll see. Any chances of her taking over your practice? Oh, uh, We've talked about that before but I don't know what's going to be. She still has a couple of years left. Do you recommend that this is absolutely the best profession to go into for her? I mean, you know your daughter, obviously. Um, I think with, if that's what she really wants to do in her heart, then that's, that's what she should do. That's awesome. Because I feel blessed every day. I get up 5.30 in the morning, and I'm still excited about going to work every day. That's so good. Yeah, that's wonderful. How many patients are you seeing in a day? Um, I would say anywhere between 25 and 32 patients a day. Oh my goodness, you're busy. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, I obviously don't know what the average is, but to me that, I mean, I could not see 25 people in a day. I could tell you that. Really? Well, uh, we've had our ups and downs. And in Aventure, it's kind of seasonal. Mm -hmm. Although as the years go on, it's becoming less seasonal and there's so many more people moving down here. So we're staying pretty busy all yeah, year. Yeah, Aventure is kind of a mess right yeah, now. Yeah, it's a mess. Because the mall is there, that's why. I, my daughter goes to school on one side of Biscayne and my mom lives on the other. And the other day, just crossing Biscayne took me 45 minutes. I know. Where, where exactly is your office? Um, where Anthony's Coal Fire Pizza oh, is and the Olive Garden, 179th of, of Biscayne. You're, so By you're, my gym, right? Yeah, I'm doing, yeah. I'm doing my daughter's birthday there. This oh, really? Month. I love it in there. Yes. Oh, okay. We're more big Anthony's fans. That's a great area because you're a little area. bit further from the mall and out of the congestion. Yes, yes. So that's awesome, you guys. Some yes. people are always like, oh, Aventura, the traffic, but she's in a perfect location. Yeah. And then your Pines office is where? Well, it's actually in Davie. It's okay. on Orange and Flamingo in the Crescent Plaza. Oh, I know exactly where that you is. Know that that's is? by Temple Beth Emmett. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, one block. Beautiful location. Good mm -hmm. for you. So this, I mean, perfectly accessible. How far in advance would you say people have to make appointments with you? Oh, you can call the same day usually and get in. Are you doing surgery in the office? I do surgery in the office and at the surgery center. Okay, so mm -hmm. you have a separate surgery yes. center. Yes. Where is that? Um, I'm in the surgery center of Aventura, and I go to the Western Surgical Center. Oh, awesome. Well, mm -hmm. that's good to know since I have my, my foot problems of my own. Oh, uh, yeah. But oh. I do a lot of work in the office, too. Yeah. Now, I um, my surgery was a little bit more... I don't know what you would call it, but I'm always very mindful. And every day I literally think of the fact that without the help, I, I mean, I don't know what would have happened. I would have, you know, not been able to walk or something. So, right. like I said, I'm sure so many people are grateful for you. So what does the future of your practice look like? More offices? Uh, Going to wait to see if your daughter joins? I really, I just take one day at a time. I'm just trying to grow the second office and... Um, just take one day at a time and try to be happy every day. How are people, are you mostly referrals? Are you advertising locally? Um, well, in Aventura, we're mostly referrals, but obviously in the new office, I have to advertise now. Oh, you are? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, you and I can talk about some marketing strategies because yes. I, I would love to brand you. I mean, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. It's fun doing the marketing. Yeah. Well, I think it also, because it allows you to take the creativity and ownership over how you position yourself to the world. Yes. So that's why I love doing it because I love giving clients that aha moment like, oh, I never looked at myself like this. That's great. Right. So I think that that would be a really fun process for you too. Yeah. I'm trying to tap in now to the more creative part of my personality. And I could tell you have it. Like you were telling yes, me, you're, you're not an introvert. So I wonder no. what that means. So besides <laughs> the keys and being with your family, what does life outside the office look like for Dr. Amy? 
what do I do? Well, I like to go to the gym. Um, we go to like every concert there is. Really? Yeah, we love music. What was we the last theater. concert you were at? Um, we went to see Peter Cetera. We go to the movies. We enjoy going to shows. We enjoy going out to dinner. We enjoy doing everything. That's so great. So you have a really full life. And I think also that's great to highlight. You know, you can work your butt off. You could have two offices. You could be a doctor with all this experience seeing 30 patients a day and still really make time for your own lives. And I know there's plenty of people who, you know, yes, we do have to work more hours than most when we're in business for ourselves, but the rewards are so great and you enjoy them that much more because you've earned it for yourself. You're your success depends on you when you're in business for yourself. So every little bit really just feels that much better. I know I've learned that. And and I think, you know, obviously it's evidence, you know, based on what you're telling us. So Definitely. That's great. It's not perfect, but <clears throat> overall, overall no, it's a and great I think experience. If it were perfect, you're probably, you know, not working as hard as you could be and have somebody else doing something for you. Or, you know, you wouldn't be able to appreciate the better times. So I think you need that sort of those ebbs and flows to kind of, keep you going. It's, Definitely. You know, you don't want to sit stagnant Definitely. and become complacent. So I yes. love that for you. So what are your, you know, new year, new me resolution type goals you have for the year? Basically find out what makes me happy and go for it. And what just being here tonight is something out of the box for me. And I'm very proud I of myself for being here. I'm proud of you too. I know it's not everybody's natural comfort zone to come and talk on the no, air. No, it's and, not. Well, I think it's you did a great job, first Thank of all, you. number one, didn't you guys? She was Thank awesome, you. and and you're very well spoken, and I could see why patients love you. You're calm, you're soft, you have a great demeanor, and you speak so well and eloquently, so there's no reason why you should ever be nervous if you ever do this again. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And <laughs> I so appreciate it. Finding what makes you happy, so that's that also goes along with a lot of what I speak about and, and write about, and I think, you know... Again, as women, it's really hard to really separate yourself from your life as a job and a career woman and a mom and, and focus on your innermost needs. And I know for me, I don't really like to do resolutions. I like to set goals, attainable goals. And I know for me, you know, for the month of January, I've made it a point to schedule more me time on my calendar, have lunch right. with a friend once a week rather than just business networking events, like really right. take time. I work hard. I mom really hard. And I, I know it's really important for me that I take more time to do what makes me happy. Right. And I'm like you, I'm simple. I don't need to be like, you know, go to a movie once in a while. I can't even tell you the last time I went to a movie, but the simple things make me happy. Maybe a little more sleep. Who knows? It's but a New York thing. Is it? Yeah. We share the New <laughs> Very York simple. thing. Yeah. So you're from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. What part? Canarsie? Canarsie. Canarsie. So I lived in Brooklyn for a short amount of time. And it's, there's definitely a connection. There's, you know, that kind of energy. Definitely. And it makes you a tough cookie, too. Oh, yeah. So you're definitely my oh, kind yeah. of woman. Yeah. But I think I've always said, I don't know if, I, for what I do, there's, I have a lot of competition, but I don't know if I could have had the same sort of success as quickly if I were in New York. I think having the New York mentality in Florida has helped me quite a bit. Do you feel oh. the same way? Oh, definitely. I want to hear your perspective on it because I have my own. Well, like. Like in Aventura, most of my patients are from New York, so they're like my relatives. Yeah. We speak the same language. It's, it's, I just feel very comfortable. It's so funny. And my closest friends down here are people from New York. Right. Like it's, it's right. you find each other and your kindred spirits almost. I love that. That's what it is. And I also find, you know, not that the, the, the hectic go, go, go of New York is such a great thing, but it does sort of harden you to a point where you're always in hustle mode. So for me, you know, people are like, oh my God, you don't stop doing things. I'm like... Yeah. I'm, I mean, it's like being in New York City, walking down Park Avenue and having to run to catch my train. Like I always have to run to get to the next thing. And that's how I live my life. But it serves me well. And I really credit my life in New York for that. Yes, definitely. Do you think you'll definitely. ever go back? Well, I go back to visit all the time. But to live now. Do you miss, you don't miss living there? No, not at all. And your husband's not from New York. You mentioned no. his He's from Venezuela. Okay. Yeah, you told me that. Okay. Um, How does he feel about New York? Most non-New Yorkers are like, no, thank you. No, he loves it. But we just like to visit there. It's too cold. It is cold. I like to have my coffee on my patio on Saturday morning in the middle of January. That is very nice. But I, I'm not going to lie. I was so excited on Friday when it was like 60 degrees. I broke out my boots and my sweater. I was like, this is great. I miss that part of it, not the snow. But I definitely miss like, you know, I could do without the Florida summers from time to time. Right. But anyway, the point is, we're babes in business. We're taking over South Florida. You know it. You watch us every week. And I have a new, interesting, amazing woman on to share her business success with us. And I love it. I love to learn. 
Um, I love to have inspiration. You are very inspiring. Opening Thank a you. second office to me. I don't even Thank have a first you. office yet of my own. Um, but I think, you know, kudos to you and your kids have so much to look up to and be proud of. And we're Thank so you. happy you joined us. Um, Thank you. Next week, we have another exciting guest. And I, we have a lot of great things on the horizon. Got to plug the Eco Baby Expo happening February 11th at the Fort Lauderdale Convention Center. I'm proudly sponsoring it and speaking at it twice that day. So if you're a new mom, an expectant mom, or you have little kids and just want to see what's out there new and amazing and healthy for babies these days, come and check us out. Um, other than that, I am so excited for this new year. Like I said, don't necessarily make resolutions. Love who you are now. Don't vow to change yourself, but maybe try and set better goals, attainable goals, ones that'll make you feel accomplished, ones that'll make you feel better once you have reached them, and then you can just set new ones and keep crushing those. I'm Michelle Dempsey. You can find me at michelledempsey.com. Would love to help your business. Uh, give me a call. In the meantime, keep it smart, keep it successful, keep it sassy, and keep being a babe in business. We'll see you next week. You did like they say, all good things must come to an end. But the good news is we'll be back next week with more tips, more secrets, and more strategies to empower you on your business babe journey. Did you like something you heard today or would you like to join us on the show? Please contact me now at 305-469-7500 or visit me on the web at www.michelledempsey.com. I look forward to connecting with you and helping you become a babe in business. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.